Hi guys, Mike here with ultrabookreview.com and we're taking a look at the Acer Aspire S7 and the older Acer Aspire S5. Now, basically the S7 is newer, it's a device that will run Windows 8 by default and it's definitely better looking and slicker than the Acer Aspire S5. Uh, you're probably going to uh, know a bunch of things about this too, but this is very very thin, it's 0.5 inch thin, it has a glass outer shell with some aluminum on the bottom and aluminum on the interior as well while the Acer Aspire S5 has a magnesium uh, magnesium body. It does feel slightly lighter, the S5, but uh, it's definitely not as, uh, as good in terms of build quality. This is uh, aluminum and magnesium, and uh, it's, it feels all right, it's light, but it's not really as good. Uh, now, let's look at the keyboards. You're going to notice that uh, they're basically similar, but uh, looks like there's a bit better travel on the Aspire S5. I've tested this one, you can find the review on the side, while uh, on the Acer S7, uh, it's slightly less travel because like I said, this is thinner. And you can see this over here, it's not a big difference between the two, but it's uh, just a tiny bit. And uh, over here, this tiny bit actually um, actually means something. You're going to notice that the arrow keys are slightly larger on this one, on the Aspire S7, while on the Aspire S5 they're tiny and a little bit uh, you know, uncomfortable. In terms of screens, both these devices feature 13.3 um, inch displays. However, this is a 1366 by 768 uh, panel, a TN panel, while this is an IPS full HD panel. And uh, this is coming uh, with a touch screen as well, so it should work. Well, I don't know exactly why it, this is the, uh, this doesn't work. Probably the touchscreen is uh, deactivated or something. But uh, it will come with the touchscreen. So price price wise, this starts at about uh, 1200, 1300 right now. But for the S7, we don't know the exact prices. I expect it to be slightly more expensive. Now, if you're going to close the two, you're also going to notice that the Aspire S7 is just slightly, slightly thinner, slightly wider as well. In terms of ports, while on the Aspire S5, uh, you have uh, most of the ports uh, on the back because uh, you probably know that the Aspire S5 has this and it's covering all the ports. You have HDMI to USBs in here and uh, Thunderbolt, uh, while on the sides you don't really have anything else except for the card reader on this side. On the Acer Aspire S7, things are slightly different. You have two USBs here and uh, an, S an SD card reader, while on this other side you have uh, uh, the PSU and you have a micro HDMI and headset jack, so you don't have Thunderbolt, you only have HDMI as a video output and you're going to need an adapter for this. But uh, still, so probably a little, a little bit less ports on this one, but uh, overall it's still going to be all right. Okay, uh, thank you. That was all for now. Just a quick hands-on and a comparison between the Acer Aspire S7 and the Acer Aspire S5. Thanks for watching. More details will be available in our later clips.